Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been like five months. <laughs> my life has just been really intense and crazy. Let me catch you guys up. So as you guys know from my previous video, I now have a nail salon. Very exciting nail salon and I have joined the TikTok world and I have had quite a few successful videos on TikTok now and my audience has kind of grown on there. And recently, um, people have been asking me to do daily vlogs for YouTube and I've also done a few lives where people have been asking me to get back on YouTube. So here we are. It would be a cool day for me to try to vlog again. Get my coffee and we're getting this day going, so cheers. I figured we could do a little get ready with me. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner ever. It's Enjoy. I've been using it since I was like 18. So good and it smells like perfume. Literally everyone will ask you why your hair smells so good when you use this. And I also use this Aveeno Smooth and Finish. When I don't want to do, ugh, I already kind of waited too long, so I might have to do my hair. But I applied this to my ends and it makes my frizz go down because even though I have really straight hair, it like gets frizzy if I don't brush in time. That brush, my absolute favorite. So yeah, back to what's going on in my life. So 2020 was obviously a shit show for everybody, including business owners. So 2020, I was really depressed, honestly. I don't think I had the mental capacity to make YouTube videos. And I'm still honestly pretty depressed, like not gonna lie. I'm actually picking up this camera because I healed my depression last time I made a bunch of YouTube videos just because I feel like it really allows you to self-reflect. I don't know, there's something very therapeutic about making YouTube videos in my world. Same, because YouTube is definitely like my diary. If you've been here, you kind of know that. Lots of stuff is going on, lots of new things that I really just want to start sharing with you guys again, more in depth, because I feel like with TikTok, it's like very um, short, and I feel like with YouTube, I'm able to like really talk to you guys and let you guys in and kind of set the mood. The mask mandate is back in Los Angeles, so I'm not going to wear makeup on my face because the mask and my makeup like do not mix at all. My favorite cleanser right now it smells so good and it's like more of a small business cleanser that my mom sells at Namie's and it works so well and it just smells delicious and I love that it's like a small business and a small company um, and it works really great like I've washed my face twice now last night and this morning and it's still like getting dump gunk up super goop it's actually like a really healthy um sunscreen my boyfriend is like super crazy about sunscreens and um making sure they don't have like crazy weird ingredients and he says this is actually a really good one that isn't causing cancer so I just use like that much <laughs> and that is literally all I put on my face during the mask mandate just because like I said we don't have time to break out I use this as my little chapstick I'm gonna take this CC I really just use it under my eyes just because it's like the only thing you can see this is like probably not the best um get ready with me <laughs> call me basic but i've just been using my super old hula bronzer and this little brush that i've had since in high school like wow marcy you really need to step up your makeup game and i just honestly take it and i put it right here on my crease just very little i don't know it just gives like a little depth it makes my like no makeup look look more makeup -y. I'm gonna do my mascara really quick and get dressed and we'll be back.
I've been really obsessed with this one, another stupid TikTok. <laughs> We're back. My camera's really <laughs> low and I'm pretty tall, um, but fit check. My Gen Z sisters would be super disappointed in my outfit, but it's my bit of shopping and I wanted to show you guys some goodies that I just got. Okay, so these are actually off of Amazon. I'm going to Costa Rica in 12 days and I really need a new bathing suit. So I got this off of Amazon. Don't tell my mom. She literally hates Amazon. Um, I got this cute little black one. And then this cute little bathing suit, which is also Amazon for the win. We're going to see how those go. Sports bra from Aloe. And I got a matching tennis skirt that you could imagine right here that I can't find but me and my boyfriend just picked up tennis and I really needed a cute tennis outfit oh and like a little iridescent tennis hat to go with it oh my god it's such a cute outfit I'm definitely gonna go play tennis and show you guys it but we're just gonna pretend there's a tennis skirt right there but yeah this is my like little bikini Amazon haul we're gonna go run to blush I hired two new front desk girls and they're amazing. Um, there's just a lot to learn and gel books are so much more complicated than people could anticipate when it comes to nail salons. Like there's over 500 colors. They all have a space in place. They're all numbered a certain way, but they get messed up and mixed up. And I guess it's a code red situation at the salon. So I'm gonna go run and hopefully take care of that code red and you guys are gonna come with me. Hello. Also, life update, my car got stolen. So that was fun. There has been like so much stuff that has happened. I really just feel like we need a whole like sit down life update, but today it's a daily vlog, so. Now that we're on our way to the salon, let's talk about it because I told you guys I got a salon at the age of 25 and what that was all like but now that i'm two years deep into it oof i got some tea if you are an entrepreneur be buyer beware when you're an employee somewhere which i have been my whole life besides now it's so much more chill because you just get to go home and like not think about anything as a business owner, all you are doing is thinking about your business. It's like a newborn baby that never grows up. That always knew something. Like, I can't wean it off. I mean, I can, but I can't, if you know what I mean. It's a lot more work than I could have anticipated, and I don't mean to sound spoiled by saying that because I don't want to come off that way, but like, it's just a lot more work than I had processed when I was thinking of having my own nail salon um i love it there's just days where like yesterday i was having like a nervous breakdown because it's just like so many things that i need to do and so many people i have to respond to and whew, i'm grateful but it's a lot of work and then tiktok like kind of blew it up well it did blow it up and like my phone does not stop ringing at the salon. Like, we get a phone, like, I'll be on the phone with someone and another phone call is like happening. And it's just like that all day long. So, I really needed more receptionists. I really needed help. It was like out of control. Cause at first, I was like running it all day long, basically by myself. I had one other receptionist. Um, who, I'm, who I love and I'm obsessed with, but she's an esthetician and I just built, oh, that's what you guys don't know. I built like my second business, which is an esthetician room right behind my nail salon. So they're different, but the same. It was like a whole other business. And that was like, you know, so much work and such a learning experience again. And I'm only 26, like I really am. And my best friend Carla said something yesterday that like really helped me and she's like dude it takes people five years to like get their business like I was like huh I'm so hard on myself I literally forget that like I've only been doing this for two years and half of oh 
and half of the first year I was shut down so like technically this is like my first year and a half and I'm just like really 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 hard on myself I want everything to be perfect I want everybody to be happy which is impossible in the business world and that is like something I really need to learn and my boyfriend and I are also business partners and that's like a whole other can of worms where like we always have like different ideas different perspectives and just a lot like but, you know I've just been feeling really overwhelmed and I'm like why not vent and use my camera as a therapist because I'm really proud of myself for how far I've come and all the work I put in but oof, like I said some things just don't prepare you for things in life and this is definitely I'm grateful. I hate whenever I like sound ungrateful. Like I'm so fucking grateful and I understand like I'm literally living my dream life. Um, it just doesn't mean that it's always walking through roses and having like the best time. I normally drive to work saying affirmations the whole time. So on the count of three, Let's say some good ass affirmations because I seriously need it right now. So here we go. I am grateful for my friends and family, my employees, my business. I am so grateful. I'm abundant. I am love. I am light. I surrender to the universe. I surrender to God. I am capable of anything I set my mind to. I have an infinite amount of energy. my new facial room slash waxing room that I was talking to you guys about so let me give you a little tour it's pretty tiny but it's the extension of the nail salon so it makes sense um so this is my little dutch door which I'm obsessed with. That took me forever to find. Then this area is not done, but there's gonna be like a big mirror right here and it's gonna look so cute. And this is the facial station in here. So zen, like when you lay down, it's so nice, like it's so peaceful. I'm I'm literally so obsessed with this place. And then this is the waxing station. And these like all come down. So there's privacy. And then over here is like our back end. Still a little bit of work to do. And then my bathroom is so right here. So cute. And yeah, this is it. I finally got my nail off. It's broken, like right there. It's so bad. I'm so sad about it. But I'm gonna let that breathe and we're going to head on out of here and get something to eat because I am shaking starving now. I just went to Whole Foods. I got a smoothie. It looks so good. So I'm not a vegan, but I definitely now eat way more meals without meat. Mm. Amazon Berry at Whole Foods. Ooh. But I will see you guys at the house. Came home to my boyfriend surprised me with a little gift. It's actually not little. I can't, I literally can't believe he bought me this. So man, is it? I saw these the other day and I would not 
let him buy them for me. Like I literally was like, no, absolutely not. I don't, like, I love them. When I saw them, I was like, oh my God, I have to have them, but not really. Um, and I tried them on and I was in love, but I literally was like, I can't spend that type of money on glasses and I don't want anybody to, but he did it anyway. <laughs> They're so freaking cute though. I can't really see how. They're the turtle bay color and they're just so me. Like I love big obnoxious glasses. I don't care what anybody says. They're my favorite because they hide my face and it just makes me happy when I'm not wearing makeup or I look like crap. Those little itty bitty ones like, I don't know. I don't see the point of them, but I'm obsessed. Look how cute they are. For me, because I was having a really bad day and that honestly, wow. I'm super blessed, like, sometimes I'm just like, oh, he doesn't exist, but he does. He's honestly really, really sweet. And he also is taking me for couples massages. So I'm gonna eat this pokey and then go get my couple massage. And don't forget, you are what you think about. I can't believe I'm saying that again. I feel like for so long I haven't said that, but I'm really happy to be back, guys. I'm really grateful for all of you that have encouraged me to pick up the camera again and vlog. Um, I'm really grateful to be doing this, and I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.